Yes, he's done it. Just <laughs> Nice onesie, bro. Thanks. It's, uh, it's my yeah, my mechanic in onesie. You're getting asked by clean, your clean white t-shirt underneath. Uh, yeah. You're getting asked by your neighbours whether you work here or not. <laughs> yeah, they give a groundskeeper because I'm always walking around with my massive watering can. Yeah, so she needed a bit of work, but she's she's all right now, isn't she? Yeah, just a cable, some GT85, yeah. and it's all oh well. Hopefully, we'll get around. One of the cables had got a little bit stiff, so luckily, Tom. Um, Fixed it and now good to go. Got the tail fin set up on the mantle, mate. Looks pretty good, no? I I'm really impressed. It's gonna be like even if it doesn't look quite as neat as other bags, it's so much more accessible. Yeah. And also with re having rear suspension, I don't think you'd have room for a normal bike packing bag. The rear yeah. tire would come up and hit it. Whereas yeah, right, that you're kind right. of all sorted. It's gonna be very back heavy though. <laughs> I'm gonna be going good, you're gonna be like there's no chance you're going over the bars, just <laughs> tanking down on the back wheel. Yeah, yeah. Not tubeless though. Not tubeless, no. So if you guys didn't watch the last video, I explained that we're going to be, me and Tom and our friend called Jake are going to be going out north and doing the Lakeland 200, which is a pretty famous little loop around the Lake District. Is that a good description? Yeah, I think so. It's like <laughs> a, it's a 200 mile bikepacking route that's uh, made by a guy called Alan Goldsmith. Okay. Um, and it was, it's... A, kind of as like a mini version of the slightly bigger and more famous one called the Highland Trail 550. Okay. It's like a, a warm-up practice one and I think like if you're doing it full summer bikepacking style like 40 hours is like the goal time but we're going to take do it over three days Yeah. in the middle of January. Yeah. Um, probably quite a bit of snow and ice. Never never been bikepacking in January. Neither have I. It's going to be <laughs> miserable. Uh, a little bit nervous. Yeah we're going to have to bring a lot of clothes aren't we? Yeah. Many yeah. and gloves and, and gloves. socks. I think it's going to be wet feet in like the first 10 minutes and uh, then that'll be it until three days later. She's got snow, it's snowing inside. <laughs> so I've left Tom to it back at his house and now just that Sigma picking up some brake pads. Picking up three, hopefully I don't go through them all. There we go. There's a standard road ones, right? <laughs> and I'm heading back through Richmond Park on the way back home. So we're leaving tomorrow morning for the late district and I haven't packed yet. But saying that, it's been a productive morning. I've got the lockout on my Bouncy Mouncy fixed by Tom, very kindly. I think it was a little bit seized. And I've also gone and collected some brake pads from Sigma Sport. What do you think of my new Camelback backpack hydration system? Never used one of these things before, it's, uh, it's cool. It's just started to rain here at Richmond Park and Luckily, the weather forecast in the Lake District for the next few days, I've been keeping a close eye on it, and luckily, it looks all right. It looks cloudy and a little bit cold, between seven and 10 degrees, but not wet, crucially. So, uh, just got, just got back on my bikes, very kindly being collected by the guys that have bike because, as you may know, I crashed and I need them to do a frame swap. There we go. So this, this is the one that I crashed in Spain and I had a bit of damage on the fork here. Um, so Ribble very kindly sent me the new frame. How bike will do the goodness. All right, mate, what's your name? My name is Renan from Brazil. Yes. I came to collect your bicycle and you'll be back here better than ever. <laughs> Good as new. The bike. Collect it, fix it, and we bring it better than exactly, ever. Exactly, exactly. And you've got loads of space in there for all the we bikes, eh? Yeah. And probably, normally, we collect seven bikes and return seven bikes okay. per day. So if you guys don't know exactly who I have bike are, they have been sponsoring me for a number of months now, and they are my workshop or service partner, which means that they help me keep my bikes in the best working order that they can possibly be. And they're based in London, and the best thing about them is that they come and collect your bike and fit the workshop and the repairs around your schedule. So good morning, it has been a few days since the last clip. 
and in a few days that have passed we have completed our epic Lakeland 200 and they were so epic that they're taking me a while to edit and in the meantime whilst I edit those Lakeland 200 videos which are really really awesome I've come over to the Have Bike Workshop because they're having a bit of an issue fixing my bike one of the bits on it the front mech to be specific is not working so luckily I've got a replacement from my other spare bike and hopefully we can get it fitted we got back from the Lake District yesterday and let me tell you I am an absolute shell that trip really really to get out of me and uh, I'm really excited to finish the edit and show you guys what we got up to. So luckily the kind guys that have bike were able to fit my front neck the bike is working absolutely perfectly it looks flawless so i'm really really excited so shout out to ribble for looking after me as always and sending me the replacement frame so if you guys did want to check have bike out i've left the link in the description and you can get 10 percent off on any bookings using the code in the description below so check it out so here they both are back from Have Bike. You can see the new one is looking absolutely fantastic. It's got a brand new chain on there. And the other one, it's not looking so good. It's a little bit beat up, as you can see. There is actually one very, very small difference between the bikes, and that is that the stickers are now no longer stickers. This is a painted frame. Uh, and the logos and the, and the Ribble logos cannot come off now. So nice little upgrade. And I think it looks really, really nice in this kind of deep gray. And the front mech working like an absolute dream. 